Hello everyone. So this video, I'm just going to do a real life test to see how long this T1000 Griselle, it is their 1000 watt power station. How long is it going to power our generation two Starlink modem? This is the first time we're doing this test, so I have no idea. I don't know what to anticipate. Um, I would say I'm hoping for at least eight hours. Uh, and maybe that's setting the bar low, I don't know. But right now we're at 100%. And it seems to be pulling anywhere from as low as 30 something watts to as high as 75 watts or so. It is fluctuating. I guess it depends on how hard the satellite has to work to try to find a connection. But anyway, right now I started it at 10 a.m. and I have the dish right out there. It is an overcast day. I don't know if that affects how hard this thing has to work or not, but Whatever the case may be, I will come back with an update to let everyone know exactly how long this Griselle power box was able to power this generation two Starlink modem. All right, it is three hours later. It's now one o'clock. Let's see how much power. Okay, so we're still at 91% power left and it's currently pulling about 38 to 40 some odd watts. Not bad, let's keep going. It has now been eight hours and that was the minimum that I was hoping for let's see what we have right now so i started at 10 a.m it is six o'clock p.m again it's been at least eight hours and it looks like we are at 74 percent okay and not bad i'm happy then i was hoping for just eight hours so we'll see how long this goes on um, another update so now it is 11 o'clock at night and um from 10 o'clock this morning that is 13 hours so at 13 hours in we are at 51 percent and it's still going strong so yeah, it's lasted longer than I thought it would. 13 hours in, and we're just gonna go ahead and run this all the way out. Good morning. So it is now 7 a.m. the very next day, and um, it just went down to 0%. So this box powered my um my starlink modem for 21 hours um because again i started this thing at 10 a.m yesterday so needless to say i think that's pretty good i'm pleased with this i did watch a couple of videos of the jackery 1000 box and i noticed that on average it seemed to last about, I think it was like 13 hours. So the fact that I got 21 hours is fantastic. And this was going straight through, no breaks, on the Wi-Fi continuously for 21 hours. Um, so I anticipate this lasting for several days out in the field because, of course, I'm not going to be utilizing Wi-Fi for 21 hours straight. I'm going to be using it in the evenings likely to get caught up on emails, 
um, and maybe watch a movie before going to bed. So having this box charged up before I go out boondocking, yeah, I anticipate it lasting for, for days, if not weeks. So I'm thrilled with this test. Not too bad, Grisel, not too bad. Just one last thing before I go. I want to make it clear that I anticipate this lasting for days or possibly weeks because this box was purchased recently with the sole purpose of powering the Starlink. So we have other smaller boxes that we plan to use to power our cell phones and any other devices. Um, so the only draw of power from this box is going to be the Starlink once again. Also, what I'm going to go ahead and do is, and I'll put this in another video, um, because I will be doing another video about this box. We are going camping out in the middle of nowhere in Texas um, this month. We'll be out there for a couple of weeks and I'm going to be able to test again how long it's able to power our Starlink, um, you know, using it intermittently, um, as I mentioned previously. And also I'm going to measure how long does it take to recharge from zero to 100% um, with the, you know, the wall outlet versus how long it's going to take to recharge this thing with our solar panels. Um, I do have a 200 watt solar panel that I'll be using while boondocking to charge this the thing up. So I will include that information in my next video uh, over the next several weeks during that camping trip.